okay, this is where we are. Innovation occurs in a nonlinear fashion, and it occurs through you know, strange relationships and uh, unknown relationships, and that's where we've landed today. As a region, I believe we are poised to become the leader in creativity and innovation, serving people across their entire lifespan. We are here today through years of research, collaboration, and interdisciplinary thinking, along with the true grit of determination and intelligence to solve what others may think are impossibly hard problems. So, we launched this network and we have an opportunity to demonstrate our partnerships. And we hopefully have an opportunity to meet friends and clash some ideas. We hope that there's even more synergy because this important set of underpinnings that this work serves in the year ahead, I believe, will be groundbreaking. That is the reason why we've gathered you here tonight. We're starting to see an emergence of new businesses around the whole label of creative technology. And it's an emerging sector, but I think that obviously there's something here that's going to be good for the regional economy. I mean, there's a reason that Google and Disney are setting up shop here. And frankly, it's because of the kind of businesses that generate animation, games, simulation, robots. And in the past, these were sort of disparate technology firms. But I think one of the really cool things that the Tech Council is doing is now giving it a name, organizing this sector called Creative Technologies, and it's giving it much more coherence. If we've learned anything at Four Moms, it's that no detail is unimportant, and the only way to win is to make sure you do every single aspect of your product better than your competition. Um, everyone's going to know, so meaning everyone in the world is going to know that this is a place where innovation and creativity have all. Uh, clashed and grown and exploded into a whole new set of new opportunities. We're going to see evidence of this in healthcare, we're going to see evidence of this in business, and it's no longer going to be just a discrete kind of um, business cluster. So what is digital media, what is um, 3D manufacturing, what is architecture, it's all going to be part of the curriculum that people learn in high school and uh, how we build the future in terms of innovation and creativity. We're going to be known. Everything that we've done in marketing has been around the idea that we need to get people to feel comfortable with our technology, comfortable with our solution. And so the type of marketing we do is a little tongue-in-cheek, a little clever, a little smart, sometimes a little risque. But for us, it has really helped us connect with that end consumer. We say that Maya is a product design company and a technology lab, uh, or a technology research lab. And what that means, when we say product design, we're really talking about the design that centers around usability, about making products usable. The collaboration or the combination of the technology and the art coming together in whether it's entertainment or other commercial forms is um, is vital to any any economy, and especially here in Pittsburgh, you have such a great mix uh, of those things already here through Carnegie Mellon and other universities and the technology that, that that's coming out of there to the. Um, to the great art from the Art Institute of Pittsburgh and, and drama and all the other things uh, at the university level. So the combination of those really is what makes uh, success. 
want to see our kids do better in school, and we want to see local businesses thrive in this region. That's what our commitment is. And what I find fascinating about this creative technology network is we're talking about homegrown industries that serve both objectives. Well, events like this are really exciting yeah. because it just showcases um, not only to the outside world but also within our own industry how much talent there is in Pittsburgh. It reinforces our findings that there is quite a bit of innovation in Pittsburgh. It does feel like it. It feels like a beginning. It feels like there's. It feels like there's. Uh, uh, the the line is moving upward with the potential mm -hmm. of what's happening in the city, uh, from talent, technology, etc. I mean, it really does. It, it feels fantastic. What we're trying to do is teach businesses how to be innovative. People tell people, be innovative, and they're like, well, what does that mean? And part of innovation is learning how to deal with moving from today to a preferred future. And that's what design does. It's a purposeful move from your current situation to a preferred situation. I, I became interested in this very early on. Uh, I mean, there are obvious reasons I'm attracted to shiny objects and flashing lights. But after that book, it was Ken Chesney Harvey, Audrey Russo, who started to say, look, there's an economy here. There's an industry here. is pretty much your only barrier at this point. Uh, technology has enabled us to do many, many things. Pittsburgh is at a unique point in its history right now in terms of contributing to the national and international gaming community, actually. We've got a critical mass of studios here in Pittsburgh right now. Um, there's enough talent here to not only produce world, uh, worldwide con award-winning content, um, but in the event that any student studio got bigger or smaller, there's enough where there's a nice shift of people through them. That's very appealing to attract gaming talent here to Pittsburgh. We're also graduating students, both creative and technical, from the Pittsburgh community who are going off to contribute to gaming studios, opening their own or larger ones all over the world. I think this conference is really important because it's great for Pittsburgh to get together and celebrate the successes within the community and, uh, and highlight innovation and design as uh, core competencies that can help Pittsburgh succeed on a national scale. As an admission today, to share, to you, to share with you our great big steering insight which is that dramatically better products are dramatically better. <laughs> Shell Games is part of the uh, the collaboration really between technology and art and it's part of the community of uh, Western Pennsylvania and so anything we can do to support that um, in addition to just being here and, and, uh, and having um, you know 65 employees uh, we like to support and, and be part of the, uh, the local community so we're, we're happy to um, to engage in, in any kind of a, an event uh, such as this one. Uh, working with Disney is, is fantastic, um, as well as uh, we work with Disney and Pixar uh, in collaboration on a lot of projects. And it's, um, what can you say, they're the uh, top entertainment company in the world. And it's, uh, it's a real honor to uh, be working with a company like that. So we're, uh, we're, we're national, we're international, and we're, we're local, and we, we love it. We love being part of the, the community here. And uh, as you guys saw from that first video they played, it's, uh, it's amazing, and, and we're, we're having fun, and, and hope everybody else is too. So that's Shell Games. clients are fundamentally technology companies, but we're asked to do some of the creative aspects to help them with usability, to help them with interaction design, to help them build user interfaces. Often these need to be beautiful in order to keep users happy and uh, to have people enjoy using some of these products. 
And there's a lot of technology that goes into that. Um, but the other side of it is that there's a lot of work that Maya does that's done with pencil and paper. And in fact, some of the best creative technology we have is whiteboards, whiteboard markers, pencils and paper, scanners, our own brains, um, being able to work off of each other. We do a lot of innovation sessions and all we really use is whiteboards and uh, sticky notes, frankly. Um, but most of that stuff, as we work through our process, gets moved into higher and higher and higher fidelity things to ultimately become the end product. So that's where we start moving from a lot of those initial tools we use for brainstorming and ideation into some of the, what I would call, creative technology tools. So we're talking about things like Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and video programs, three-dimensional rendering things, and so on. So that's ultimately how our stuff gets to be the final product, is through some of these creative technologies, uh, creative technology programs. If you do good work and you keep all the people at your company happy, you're going to build this broad network on its own and you're going to end up having national success. Thank you. Pittsburgh is, is in a really good point to do nothing but get larger. Um, we've got really good information about startup funding. Uh, we have gaming studios who can help other folks. Um, Pitt is working on a project right now to enter, educate entertainment lawyers, which right now a lot of gaming studios have to go to the West Coast for that. So we're getting a strong foundation, and I think that'll allow the community to just grow larger. So the vision is to continue these kinds of opportunities because what only happens out of it is amazing things. Different people get a chance to work together, to know together tonight, whereas we're all talking about, have you two worked together? No, but we're just talking about that now. And you know, in normal circumstances, we have a very linear path in terms of supply chain and market opportunities, and this takes it. You know, there, is, there are no lines.